Welcome to Tom's Aviation. Enjoy this next video. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, and to share. Hi, my name is Steve and I'm from Bettendorf, Iowa and uh, I have the privilege of uh, flying the L-39 Albatross. Uh, the L-39 Albatross was built by a Czechoslovakian aircraft company and uh, was used as a basic uh, jet trainer and gunnery trainer in the uh, Soviet bloc countries. Um, this particular one is a 1984 model F, uh, L-39 and uh, it's been in the States since uh, 1997. Been flying continuously since then. Um, and uh, really good airplane to fly, very easy to fly. Uh, uh, great trainer for teaching people how to fly a jet airplane. It's great for learning. I've taught many people to fly formation in the airplane, taught them aerobatics in the airplane. Um, I've got about 1700 hours of flight time in the L-39 um, FA examiner so I give check rides in the L-39 as well as a bunch of other uh, Russian air or uh, jet aircraft. What is, how did you get into aviation? Oh, okay. uh, I got into aviation, uh, my, my dad uh, was in corporate aviation and uh, all of his brothers had at least a private pilot's license. His youngest brother was a, a fighter pilot in the Marine Corps and then an airline pilot, so he was kind of uh, one of my mentors. I took the same path. I was, uh, well, first of all, I learned, got my private pilot's license and my instrument pilot certificate before I went into college. I went to college and joined ROTC and ended up getting a pilot training slot in the Air Force. Spent eight and a half years in the Air Force. Flew the uh, F-15C model, uh, got about 1,100 hours in the F-15C, uh, 43 combat missions in the first Gulf War. Uh, then I taught at Euronato pilot training in the T-38, um, and then I got out and joined a uh, major airline in the Chicagoland area. Well, uh, I think I think if you were to ask me my favorite part of aviation, I would probably say the people because the the quality of people that are involved in in aviation around aviation are just wonderful people. They're all smart. They're all uh, very interesting. Uh, they ha all have unique stories. Um, and you know, the guys I flew with in the Air Force are going to be brothers forever. And uh, same here. Uh, flying the L-39, uh, there's a group of us that have become very close and we fly together regularly, uh, fly around uh, and fly formation together. That creates a, a, a bond of its own um, when you fly, you know, three feet away from another airplane. That, that creates a bond in itself. No. You just busted my interview. Just walked through the camera. Situational awareness. Sorry, Steve. <laughs> the, um, so, can you tell me some of the uh, performance uh, specifications on this puppy? Uh, the L-39 is a trainer. Um, it's uh, this this particular the C model takeoff gross weight is ten thousand uh, five hundred and thirty-six pounds. Uh, it's uh, max indicated speeds four hundred ninety knots, 0.8 Mach. Uh, is it's uh, in 41,000 feet, it's max altitude, but really it's a uh, high 20s airplane for going somewhere. Um, and uh, like I said, it was used as a best basic jet trainer. They could drop uh, bombs, practice bombs with it, and shoot rockets to train students with. Wasn't it also a uh, chase plane? Uh, this, uh, I don't know, I don't know for sure if it was a chase plane, it was a, uh, uh, if you look back in the recent Syrian conflict, you'll see L-39s that the Syrian Air Force was using to bomb, bomb with it, it, as recently as just a five, six years ago. So.
tell me how it was to find the F-15. I know you're, you're pulling heavy G's, you have the helmet on, you're, you know, you're, you're crunching the... Uh, well, well, first of all, the airplane is a wonderful airplane. It flies incredibly well. It's very easy to fly as a stick and rudder airplane, but it's very difficult to employ it as a weapon and be effective with it. The model I flew was the air-to-air -air version, the C model, F-15. So we primarily did uh, uh, long-distance radar intercepts as well as close-in dogfighting, one versus one. Uh, it's uh, capable of pulling nine Gs, so uh, very demanding when you're pulling a lot of G-forces uh, on the body and, and, um, and when you're training against your squadron mates, nobody wants to lose, so everybody's trying as hard as they can, which means you're pulling a lot of Gs. Uh, the, uh, but as far as the airplane, it, it's just incredible. You know, in its day, it was the absolute best air-to-air -air airplane in the world until the F-22 came along. Thank you for your service. And what do you think about the newer uh, versions, the F-22, the F-35? Well, I've been fortunate. I got to fly the two airplanes that I trained uh, to kill or trained against as a, as a uh, enemy threat, which was the MiG-29 and the Su-27. And so um, I've gotten to fly the F-15. Um, and so the only airplane I wish I could fly in the world would be the Raptor, but that'll never happen. And, uh, you know, it's an incredible airplane. Um, we should have bought more, built more of them. Um, Right. What Originally, like uh, less. What? I think they built 196 or something, and I don't know. Uh, maybe 180 of them are left flying. Sure, um, sure. Now you have this incredible career. You're still flying, flying for many more years. What would you say to the people that want to get into aviation? Now's a great time to get into aviation. There's a high demand for pilots. There's a lot of a lot of ways you can enter. Uh, and become a pilot now. There's uh, universities that have flight training schools. Uh, many of the big airlines are setting up their own training schools because uh, there's not enough pilots being trained to, uh, to uh, meet the demand. So if you want to get into flying right now, there's never been a better time. There's a high demand for pilots and it's a great uh, as far as an airline career, it's a it's a great paying job.
think I've been here before I know That I must have met you in a past life Got my heart on the floor Go slow Keep me falling for you all night Tell me now That I must have met you in a past life Got my heart on the floor Go slow Keep me falling for you all night Tell me now